Lord, teach us how to pray. Ganon din naman sa Matthew chapter 6. But uh, sabi, sabi ng mga uh, doon sa Lucas, tinanong kasi ng mga disipulo, they have seen the Lord Jesus Christ uh, where He had prayed. And then when Jesus Christ came out from that solitude place, those disciples said to Him, teach us how to pray. So the Lord Jesus told them or replied back to them, this is how you should pray. Okay, the Lord Jesus Christ did not say, this is what you will pray every now and then. But He said, this is how you are going to pray. So prayer is a relational communication with God. And this is a uh, uh, like talking to your Father. Amen? Amen? Teach us how to pray in verse 1. Sabi niya, kung papa, ganito kayo dapat manalangin. This is how you should pray. Amen? And we can see that the, that the Lord's prayer is broken. We can uh, separate them into two. The first half and the second half. The first half talks about the Father. Sabi na doon, Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy will. Amen. So the second half is talking about us, our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses and uh, do not lead us into temptation. So the second half is about us about the people of God Amen. Amen and in Matthew chapter 6 verse 8 before going to the Father the Father already knows what you want from Him Amen. Amen. Hindi ka pa man pumupunta, hindi ka pa man nagsasalita in your prayers the, the, the Lord God already knows what you need And then the Lord say, I already know what you want to talk about. I just want to know if you want to talk about it. Amen. Alam ko na ang, ibig, ang, ang kailangan mo, sabi niya. Pero ang gusto kong malaman ay, gusto mo bang pag-usapan natin? Amen? So, in verse 8, napakaganda nito. It is a, a really an assurance that God is really our Father. that He knows what we really need. Amen. Amen. So, before going to the Father, He knows already. So, prayer is not an informational session that we are only to tell to God what we need and then God will drop everything that we need. No. God knows what you need, but He wants us to have a relationship with Him, telling Him, talking about Him what we really, really need. Amen? Oh, I just want, sabi, sabi ng Panginoon, gusto kong malaman, gusto kong malaman kung gusto mo din pag-usapan natin ang problema mo. Hindi yung, uh, hindi yung parang uh, sari-sari store na bigyan mo ako nito, bigyan, bili ako ng ganyan, bili ako na, tapos ibibigyan naman yung, hindi yung ganun na sabihin mo, ibibigyan na kagad. But then again, the Lord God wants a relationship with you just like our Father here. ang mga tatay natin dito kapag ka may mga gusto tayo sa kanila di ba syempre pasipsip pa minsan para tapos mapag-usapan lang yung mga pangailangan natin so when uh, God God the Father ha itong uh, pan natin when uh, and to distinguish the prayer that we have recited a while ago angel of God etc that prayer is being channeled or addressed to an angel ha? but what the Lord Jesus told us and taught the disciples back then was to address your prayers to the Father who is in heaven. Amen? So, our Father, una sa lahat. So, uh, let us categorize uh, or, or qualify natin ang the Lord's prayer. So, una sa lahat, our Father, meaning, our Meaning, you are not the only child in the family. Amen. Amen? Our Father. Marami tayo. You have siblings. You have your brothers. You have your sisters. That is why when you pray and the Lord God will not answer you back in the affirmative, sabi niya, God will not answer you if it will negatively impact your brothers or your sisters. Amen. Amen. So kung mananalangin ka, parang ito, uh, proof, uh, ito, uh, 
uh, true to life story. Noong nananalangin ako na magkaroon ako ng bago yan, sabi ko, Lord, may pera ako, magtatayo ako ng bago yan, ganyan. <laughs> Pero hindi pinayagan ng Lord dahil ang gusto namang pagtayuan ng uh, nanay at tatay ni Ate Ems ng babuyan ay doon malapit sa kusina ng kapitbahay na mananampalataya din. So, hindi, nagka, hindi na tayo yung babuyan dahil sabi ng Lord, no, sa negosyo na yan kasi mapapa, ma, mapeperwisyo ang kapitbahay mo. Presidente pa man din yan ng iglesia ninyo. O edi, so, you get the point that if we are not the only child in the family, God the Father the Father will answer our prayers relationally. Amen. Amen. So, kung ang pangangailangan mo ay katugma sa pangangailangan ng mga uh, kapatid ko, oo ang sagot. Amen. Amen. Ngunit kung ang prayer mo ay makakaapekto ng masama doon sa kapatid mo, hindi ang sagot. Amen. Amen. So, that is why in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25, let us not forsake the assembling of ourselves together and let us pray for one another. Let us care for one another. Amen. All those things na yung sama-sama. Amen. You are not the only kid in the family. Amen. May mga kapatid ka. Amen. Amen. So, that's the first point. Next point. Father. So, our, ang first point. The next point is father. Father is a position in the family. So, God made his covenants to Abraham, to Isaac, and Jacob, and to David, and to all those mga naunang mga, mga uh, Christiano. He made covenant through the father. Hindi siya through the son, hindi covenant through the Holy Spirit. He made covenants to Abraham, to Isaac, and Jacob through the father. Because the position, God has placed himself in those covenants, he is the father. When he made covenant, when he made uh, Adam, he said, I will be your creator, I will create you. And then, uh, Abra uh, and then God said, the Lord God said, I will provide for you. I will protect you, sabi niya kay Adam. Ngayon, ang approach ng Panginoon dito ay kung ang Diyos na pinagsisilbihan natin ay yung tatay natin, ano, He is our Father, He knows what we really need, number one, and He wants to have a relationship, like a good relationship, communicational relationship with you, and then gusto niyang magpakatatay sa atin. Amen. He wants to be your father. Ibig sabihin, He will take care of you. He will provide for you. He will fight for you. Amen. Amen. Hindi yung uh, God doon napakalayo, andito ka. We are not praying at a distance na parang napakalayo ng Diyos. Ganito. Minsan, ang panalangin natin ay napakaraming bulaklak na mga panalangin. We are saying, uh, uh, sige nga, yung mga una, uh, mag manalangin nga kayo ng what? Ng yung mga uh, first uh, three sentences, uh, first few lines ng inyong mga panalangin. Uh, mahabaging ama, ama, oh, ama naman namin nasa langit, ano ba? Um, oh, hari ng mga hari, uh, Oo. Tapos mayroon pa. Opo. Mayroon pang isang pan. Na para bagang yung sobrang napakalayo niya sa iyo. Na malayo siya sa puso mo. Take note. Kapag ka tatay ko. <laughs> Let's say tatay ko si Kuya Mark. <laughs> Sabi ko ang tatay kong napakagwapong Kuya Mark na nagtatrabaho para sa amin na uh, napakaraming mga sakripisyo para sa amin na hanggang gabi ay nag-overtime gusto pa ng 500. <laughs> <laughs> diba? No, but I will say, Dad, kailangan ko ng 500 kasi ganito ang pangailangan ng sisko. Straight, direct to the point. Hindi yung mga mabubulaklak wherein you are putting everything na mga mabubulaklak na mga pananalita. Para bang napakalayo naman ng relasyon mo sa iyong ama kapag ka ganun. Although those are not wrong, hindi man wrong, oh, hindi, hindi man uh, masama. But then, what 
God really wants us to do when we pray is to have that fatherly relationship. Amen. Amen. Lord, this is what I need. And one point here, ask the Father, and it is a sad truth to all of us, na ang mga tatay dapat, in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1, 2, 3, 4, sabi niya doon, di ba, yung mga, mga obligasyon ng uh, pamilya. Sabi niya, fathers, do not provoke your children. Instead, sabi niya, teach them or raise them up. It now, it is not the duty or not the responsibility of the mother to raise your children. It is the biblical responsibility. Eh, bi biblical ito, ah, biblical foundation. It is the responsibility of the father to raise the children. Now, I told you, it is a sad truth kasi nga, malayo tayo sa ating mga anak. <laughs> kayo na mga tatay dito, malayo kayo sa inyong mga anak sa Pilipinas. Why? The devil has been impoverizing the family para sa ganun, the father will get out of the country leaving the family in the Philippines at tayong mga tatay naririto malayo sa mga anak that isa sa mga sad truth na kailangan nating sanang mapuksa mm -hmm. kasi if you were the devil kasi gusto ng demonyo na kulayan or itake i i i uh, Sirain ang pamilya. Ang pagkakakilala ng tao sa kanyang tatay. Gusto niyang sirain iyon na ang tatay wala sa bahay, ang tatay laging nagtatrabaho, ang tatay uh, walang time para sa mga anak. So ang nanay lang ang nandun, ganun, hanggang napapabayahan ang mga anak. So that is what the devil wants to picture how the family works. Na wala ang tatay doon sa pamilya. But then again, God the Father is was fathering Abraham, uh, Adam so that Adam can father the garden or the family. That was how God built the family, the first family before. So, ibig kong sabihin dito ay gustong ipakita ng Diyos Ama kung papaano siya maging tatay kay Adan para si Adan naman ay maging magaling na tatay sa kanyang pamilya. Where God the Father will provide and guard and guide and protect Adam and Adam should copy what his father was doing to him for his family. Para sa ganun tayong lahat naman ng mga tatay, ganun din ang gawin natin sa ating mga pamilya. But the devil was so clever in canceling out or, or destroying the basic uh, principles ng pamilya. Kaya, Kung tayo ngayon ang, uh, ang panalangin na natin sa ama natin ay parang napakalayo na niya sa atin. Kasi nga, we were misled. We were uh, misled by the devil doon sa ganong picture ng family. Ano? That is why hanggat maaari tayo na mga tatay, kayo na mga tatay na wala ang inyong mga, oh, hindi ninyo kapiling ang inyong mga anak dito, mag-ipon-ipon na kayo para makauwi na ng Pilipinas to become their real father in flesh and blood. Nice. <laughs> to raise your own children. Amen. Oh, oh. You know Ephesians chapter 6, sabi na talaga doon. Cross pala. <laughs> Cross pala yung prayer ko. Bye-bye, <laughs> ho. Ephesians chapter 6 says that you fathers need to raise up your children in training of the Lord in admonishing the Lord. Sabi niya doon na kayo na mga tatay ang siyang mag-raise mag up ng mag-teach ng inyong mga anak. Oh, oh. Hindi iyon responsibilidad ng nanay. Now the nanay, the mother will support the father. Will fill in the gaps. Kapag ka may mga pagkukulang ang tatay, eh, pero, pero wag naman yung lagi na lang nagkukulang o nagkukulang ang tatay. Kasi dito na, na nasisira yung pagkakilala natin sa Diyos Ama. ba So if truly God is our Father, we know for sure that He will teach us, He will raise us, He will provide for us, and He will take care of us, He will protect us the way a father does to the family. 
Dapat ganun ang pagkakakilala natin sa Diyos Ama. So, our Father pa lang iyon. Hanggang amen pa. <laughs> okay, let us stop or okay, let us stop so uh, dito sa pangalawa. Who art in heaven? Literal translation, who is not here on earth. Ibig kong sabihin ay ang Diyos na may lalang sa iyo na tatay natin ay nasa kalangitan na sobrang yaman anuman ang pangangailangan natin dito sa lupa pwedeng-pwede niyang ibigay sa atin. Amen. 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 So hindi siya limited by this selfish world. Hindi siya limited by the poverty in this world. Hindi siya limited by the spaces and time periods in this world. But He is the omniscient, omnipotent Father. Amen? Kayang-kaya niyang gawin ang mga panalangin. Uh, 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 Kayang-kaya niyang uh, sagutin, katagpuin ang mga pangangailangan natin at mga prayers natin. So, in this uh, night of prayer, Verse, uh, uh, point number one kanina sabi ko, let us always pray in relation with other people, with other Christians. Hindi lamang tayo nagiging selfish sa ating mga prayer items. Amen? Which is uh, to the fact naman na ang ating mga prayer items during NOP are for community, uh, ang ating mga uh, uh, for congregational uh, benefit, hindi siya mga self, uh, selfish uh, ambitions ang mga panalangin natin. So, point number one was He is our Father. You are not the only kid in the family. You have other siblings. You have sisters and brothers who in relation to your Father will give anything that you want basta lamang hindi nakaka-apekto sa iba. Pangalawa, He is your Father to provide for you, to take care of you, protect you, guard you, and to be your Father through and through. Amen? Tayo po ay tumayong sa ating...